Good morning and g'day mate. Welcome back to Dyson Sphere with myself, JD, and Mr. Icarus we have here. And today's episode, today's episode, we're working on that yellow ball in the sky. Yep, yep, uh, it's time to get some rockets up and running. Now, last episode, last episode, last episode we went and set up just a little bit of automation. I, I, I set out to make some, some solar sails and we, um, accidentally made the, the, mm, Dyson frame material. Dyson frame material, am I right? Dyson sphere component, so close. I uh, accidentally made the Dyson sphere component and also made some rockets and um, there's 3,000 in storage already. Um, yeah, we, we, we sort of overdid it. Uh, and now that we have our smelting planet, which we also did uh, last episode. So last episode we went and set up icy smelting. Uh, and as you can see, there's a, there's a few ships passing between our planet and icy smelting um yeah we we, we we got icy smelting up and running um in fact icy smelting is just about out of copper is doing not so great on iron it's okay on the other resources our home world on the other hand is um almost 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 completely out of iron almost out of copper um the stone it seems we're not using yet not really and the coal is going fine so um yes last episode we went and got some rockets up and running so i figure this episode we need to actually fire some because it's it's overdue. It's overdue. So I think uh, actually what we're going to do is we're going to reach around the planet because you can. We're going to go into this silo. I'm just going to get a couple of rockets. Uh, no, I'm going to max that out. I want to grab like 85. 85. That seems like a reasonable amount. And then we need to go to the North Pole because on the North Pole we've automated just about everything that we could hopefully possibly need. Um, like... Uh, Mishy particle gliders and ray receivers. We're going to need some of those this episode, along with... Oh, you would work about 3,000 times better if you could actually output onto the belt. There we go. Uh, we have some EM rail, uh, rail ejectors. We already have a hundred vertical launching silos ready to go, and we need to automate a few more things. Uh, you are actually going to be uh, artificial suns. Not that we can actually build artificial suns yet, but you know, we, we want to have them automated. So as soon as we get the prerequisites up and running, they can start building. Uh, we need a sorter, a sorter, oop, a sorter, a sorter. Uh, you're done, you're done. You need an output. Uh, you need titanium frame material. Okay, so titanium uh, frame material, which is there. Uh, Annihilation Constraint Sphere, that's what they're called, and Quantum Processors. Quantum Processors, you're going to have miniature suns in them, which is something I desperately want to get running, but it's not going to happen today, that's for sure. Uh, we want to set that to there, we want to set that to there, we want to put some drones in it and some big shippies. Uh, Annihilation Constraint Sphere, local demand. We don't have any of those automated, so that could be a while. Um, the frame material, I've realized that there's a bit of an issue because it's passing through a tower. We never, ever, ever, ever have any spares. So I need to look at that in the future. Um, I think that's the only new technology that we've managed to unlock. Not quite, but close enough, close enough. Uh, actually there's one other thing I want to automate desperately and it's purely because we don't have it in our network and we're probably going to need it in the... Well, it'll be in the future, future. Uh, actually, you need two belts. You need a belt. You need a belt. You need a second assembler. Uh, we need you to make, of all things, green circuits. And you, of all things, uh, buildings. Solar panels. Um, because I didn't bother putting those in the network at this stage. Uh, actually... Can I get rid of... Hang on, let's bring you out of tile. And bring you across to there. Um, yeah, I haven't put them in the network. And I don't plan on using a whole bunch of solar panels. Except for probably the smelting planet. The smelting planet, I can uh, definitely envisage it, envision, it, envision it having a lot of solar panels um, over time as we build it out. So we should probably do something about automating... Uh, automating solar panels on mass. So, uh, you're gonna do uh, iron, copper, silicon, buildings, solar 500. 
500, please, sir. I want, ah, 300. 300. 300. You're going to deliver way more than that each time, but, you know. Uh, no, not local demand. Bad jetty. Bad jetty. Remote demand. Remote demand. Remote demand. Rem remote de Yep, there we go. Okay. Uh, and because the way... Oh, have some copper. And have some iron. And I don't have silicon. Uh, because the way ships are set up, um, it means that when this gets to below 300, it's going to request a new ship. Now, because the ships move a thousand items at a time, whether I like it or not, I'm going to have a thousand iron shipped here because the tower at the other end happens to have... Uh, a thousand iron in it. Um, so as we said, we just pulled in a thousand. It's run up to there. We're making green circuits. Green circuits are going to go into solar panels. This is not going to be terribly fast. I could have just imported green circuits. But honestly, I don't need to. I, I, I've already got to bring in copper. So I'll just bring in iron and we'll just make the green circuits here to make the solar panels to put into the chests. Which we're... So going to... Just let them fill right the way up, uh, and then run them in here 500 at a time. Means when I'm at the other end, I request 500. I will have 500. Well, even if I request 100, I'll have 500 show up. So that's the plan. Uh, actually, are you crafting too fast? You make two every one second. You need four every five seconds. Yeah, no, it's it's actually it's over crafting. So that's perfectly fine. All right. So that's where we're up to with this one. I just need to grab well one of them. We're just going to start with one. And you know what? We're even going to go as far as popping it right here. Please get power. Please get power. <sighs> I wish to play it again. Alright. One rocket silo. Uh, give one rocket silo one box. One box needs one sorter. That goes from A. Oh. Okay. Try again. Uh... <laughs> One box. No. Really no. Okay. 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 One belt. Once. Hello? Hello. <sighs> One belt. One soda. One belt. One excellent sort of. Uh, one chest. Uh, okay. Who ever thought it would be so hard to just get some rockets? Can I build here? Can I build here? Hey, we've got one. I never thought it would be so hard to just get some rockets and put them in a rocket silo. Okay. Rocket silo done. Rocket silo has rockets. Uh, it just needs something to fire it. Okay. Alright. So, finally. 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 Let's get some rockets done. Alright. So, we want to go into the Dyson Sphere. I want to pause the game. Okay. The game defaults you to a, a Dyson layer. Okay, it's layer number one. Same as it defaults you to layer number one of the Dyson Swarm being just firing up solar cells. I'm not going to worry about solar cells this episode. Solar cells will, is something we'll do in a future episode. What I want to do is I want to set up a new layer. Okay, and now we have three buttons. Okay, we have the orbit radius. Small to big. Small to big. Big to small. Okay, nice and simple. Now, as you drag this up, you might notice a few things. Uh, one, we have... Too close to another layer. Because if I turn this back on, we... Oh, that did not work. Okay. Add new layer. No. Normally you can see the layer. There we go. Add new layer. I found a bug. Okay. Ah, uh, I'm seeing that layer. Okay. We can see... Well, that's very close to that one. Okay. Fine. We have layer number one that I can't remove. And that, as we make this larger and larger and larger, we can see we're going to run into layer number one, which means I can't build a sphere at about this radius. But if I keep going up, I can go larger until I get to here, and which says it says too close to a planet's orbit. 
Okay. Hang on. Planet's orbit. We're here, orbiting around Taka 3, orbiting around Taka 1, with IC smelting. Oh! Westenhusen! Westenhusen must be inside that radius. So that means the Dyson Sphere is like here somewhere um, in that interface. So if we go back to add new layer, uh, we'll set all these to zero to start with. So we can see that's roughly where Westenhusen's uh, orbit is. Okay, so if we keep going up, we can go outside Westenhusen, which is good because that means Westenhusen is going to be inside the Dyson, uh, inside the Dyson Sphere, which is great. That's that's just a great start. On top of that, we have an orbit inclination, which is which way, which way it rotates around the sun. Okay, um, at the moment we have it uh, set to uh, inclination of zero, which means it's going to rotate around uh, this way. Yes. Okay. Uh, it rotates towards the 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 faint line. Okay. So bright light goes towards faint line. Okay. If I rotated this way, it's now going to rotate around this way. Okay. That's the first thing I want. I want something that rotates. So if we're looking at it, it goes from uh, it goes from right to left because. Because, because, because. I want something that goes from right to left. Okay. Next thing we have is the longitude, which is basically the starting position of the Dyson Sphere. The longitude on a inclination of zero or an inclination of 180 doesn't really do anything. But it, as you can see, if we spin this to here, it gives us... Oh, actually, let's start with a lower angle. Yes. It gives us some interesting shapes we can build. Um... And yes, you can build some very interesting shapes in the Dyson Sphere Editor. Uh, for our very first one, we're just, we're just going to go simple. We're going to go maximum orbit radius, maximum uh, inclination, and the longitude, you know, whether it's 0 or 360, makes no difference to us. So we'll just max that one out as well. Okay, create. Okay, so that's our layer. All right, and as we can see, we can definitely build on all not the red spots. We can build on the green band. So we're going to click pause game. I'm going to start at zero degrees here. We're going to put our first one here. And then I can build a shape, a very complicated shape. The current complicated shape shape is a straight line. Uh, and we're just going to max out this as far as we can. And we have two options when it comes to drawing. We have this as a straight to straight and this is a curve. Okay. So if we take the curve and we go from here to here, you might notice that if we take the straight and go from here, to here, um, it looks identical. Absolutely identical. No difference whatsoever. Around the equator, you're not going to notice it. If you come up here, if I could build up here, the straight line, which will do basically do what our, our, our belts do when we build dead straight belts. It'll make a line from here to here, and it will go dead straight. The, uh, whatever this one's called, gratitudic. Gratitudic will actually follow around the curve of the sphere. All depends on what sort of patterns you want, okay? If your patterns are connected, then you're probably better with the gratitude. Uh, gra gratitude? Grat 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 yep, yep. Or the geodesic. The geodesic is dead straight line. So if I'm building triangle shapes up here and they're not interconnected to one another, probably just build them with the straight lines. All depends on you. But for us, we are just going to build a ring around our sun. Uh, every two big squares, I'm going to put in another node. A node is simply where the rockets place themselves. Um, where the rockets place themselves. So they'll come and land in here. And as we can see, this is node number two. So it's layer number two, node number one. Uh, it has zero, zero out of zero out of 410 structure points. What that translates into is... It currently has zero structure points there. It currently has zero structure points on the way. It needs a total of 410 to build out this particular node. And when I say this particular node, that is this plus 50% of the distance to the next node in any direction, okay? Or in all directions. So it's actually from here to here, this line here, also from here to this line here. It will need a total of 410 rockets. Cell points is the same thing, but it counts for uh, solar sails, which we 
we can't do yet because to get solar cells up I actually need three points and then I need to build a shape between the three points and have a enclosed shape that we can fill with cells but nothing we need to worry about now frame maintains is where where um is, is this piece and this piece. These are both frames, okay? Uh, and then shells is when I said, like I said, when you have the three points connected together and you're filling it in with solar cells. And it's currently making zero watts because it has zero rockets. Now, I unticked run game, which means the game has been paused whilst we've been here playing with this system. As soon as we exit, we should see, there we go. First rocket. And off it goes! Okay, it's a little bit loud. It's a little bit loud. It's a little bit loud. Um, but that's fine. Rockets are meant to be loud. Uh, they're also added in post, so I can go back to talking normally because um, the game devs still haven't added rockets have sound. But we're launching rockets. Okay, a couple of big important things we need to we need to observe observe with our very first slice of rocket heaven uh first off we need 5,000 rockets well 4,000 uh 4,920 rockets total to build out the ring that we've built currently on top of that we're going to launch five rockets per minute and we're using 18 megawatts to keep this baby running um yeah they're heavy on power uh in fact if i come into here uh, they take 60 kilowatts as idle and 18 megawatts when firing, um, which means wherever I launch these from, we're going to have to be considerate about, about our power. Now, if we come out to map view, we can see, hopefully let's zoom in on the sun, up north, we can see there is definitely a rocket out there. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, stop rotating. Please stop rotating. Aha! Rocket parks in the bum of that and they get slightly bigger. Okay? This is how whoop, this is how frame materials are made. Uh, rockets place themselves in the ass and then the whole thing gets slightly bigger. Okay? It, it, it's a weird thing. I'm not really into it myself, but, you know, each to their own, I guess. Uh, can I zoom out? Oh, there's a second one over here. Can I find that one? Yeah, and then bigger, see? And then the next one will come out, and it'll get bigger again. Uh, come on, hurry up, rocket. So, lesson learned, if you put things in your bum, your bum gets bigger. Okay, next thing we need to do is we need to look at this interface, and we can see that rockets are flying out here, and we can see that this physically exists, whereas everything else seems to still be ghosts. So, if I click on this bad boy, we can see it has 3 out of 410 rockets. Uh, and, oh, with 1 out on the way. When we click on this guy, we can see it has 5 with 0 rockets on the way out of 410. Uh, oh, this one. This one's now getting rockets. So, it's got 2 with 2 out on the way, and it also needs 410. So, we need a lot of rockets. A lot of rockets, and they're going to launch at 5 per minute. Now, currently, I'm making... Uh, let's bring up... Well, let, 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 let's do some quick maths. I'm making... In theory, assuming I was using assembly machine uh, Mark III, I would be making 1.25 rockets per second, which means I'm making 75 rockets per second. Uh, 75 rockets per second is 4,500... That doesn't seem right. No, no, I'm making 75 rockets per minute. 75 rockets per minute, and each silo launches up five per minute which means i can run 15 silos if i was using the bigger and better assembly machine i'm not i'm using the crappy ones so i can run about seven rocket silos back to back to back uh it also means that i'm making uh around about 37 and a half rockets per minute i need to launch 50,000 divided by 37 point uh, 5,000. So I have, uh, at the current rate, with seven silos going back, uh, going non-stop, it'll take me uh, 133 minutes. Two and a bit hours. Two and a bit hours to fill out um, just this tiny, tiny, tiny little ring. Okay? But I need to add a few things to that. First thing I need to do is I need to do the Dyson's Sphere stress system. Um, we need the 
Dyson Sphere to lift some weights and beef up. Uh, so, with this, this let us build up and down uh, the Dyson Sphere by another 15 degrees. Another 15 degrees is one of these. So, we're going to be able to build from here, up to here, and also down here. Okay, very, very important. I need to, I, I want to be able to build the whole sphere, but realistically, to just to start with, I really need to have this central area. This central area gives you that much building area. It's, it's, it's crazy. Okay, so first thing is we're going to need those. Second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to want some of these so we can actually get some of the power. Um, we should probably go through that very quickly. So pop those down here. Okay, it's in the sun. Our Dyson Sphere is making 2.1 megawatts, as we can see, 2.1 megawatts. We are requesting uh, 8 megawatts. We're not getting 8 megawatts. We're getting 2.2 megawatts. Minus our inefficiencies, okay? Because of our inefficiencies, we're only getting 1.5 megawatts out of the Dyson Sphere. It is free power. It's free permanent power. Whereas, if I keep burning materials, that's, that's definitely finite. But this is infinite, it just requires us to launch large amounts of material into space. But I also need to put down potentially a lot of these. Now, as they go up in the continuous receiving banner, um, their max output will also increase. So this 9.31 is slowly going up. Because they've been sitting in the sun for so long, they warm up, they heat up, they get more efficient over time. They like running a little bit warm, okay? So I need to do a few things. Uh, one, I need to remove that. Uh, we're just gonna let you launch what rockets you have access to. Uh, we need to grab a few more rocket solos. Uh, we're gonna go with 10. 10 seems like a reasonable number to start with. On top of that, I need an interstellar tower. We have that. Uh, I need a lot of belt, have that. Uh, need probably some sorters. So let's go over and grab some sorters uh, from... It's there. Now, I could have these things shipped to me, but it, we're, we're here anyway. Let's just grab them whilst we're here. Uh, and the other thing I'm going to need is a um, whole bunch of these. Uh, like a lot of these. Okay, and the reason I'm going to need a bunch of those is because some time ago, some much, much time ago, I had... I started naming planets, okay? I had lovely Taka. Taka who joined us for the very, very first live stream of, uh, well, this series of Dyson Sphere. I do stream it over on Twitch. Um, speaking of Twitch, I did some work on Twitch, on a Twitch stream, setting up some more smelting, uh, perfecting some of the ore, uh, harvesting on all three planets. Uh, the other thing I did, and I should probably mention it very, very briefly, is I have started, ha ha! I've started here, this tower. This tower has started importing iron for this. It started importing copper for this. Uh, we're trying to burn what copper still exists on the planet, so it still has a backup smelting. Um, we're also importing iron to do this, and also iron to do the... Um, uh, whatever they're called. Uh, backup iron until this... Well, it's burnt out. So until this finishes processing the tiny bit of ore that's left there, yeah, yeah, yeah. we're basically just burning off whatever materials are left on the planet. Um, and I've had to start swapping things over to start delivering from our, our icy smelting planet because we're running out of raw resources here. Um, yeah, like this has still got 2, 000, uh, 10,000 iron ore in it, but I think it already has a backup. Yeah, it already has a backup line right here. So, you know, should the ore draw, dry up, then the backup, the backup tower I'll take over. Um, so yeah, we've started doing that. Uh, I've had to do that for uh, our workshop. Our workshop now brings in iron gears, uh, circuit boards, and magnetic coils directly. Uh, this tiny little build is still running steel um, till it dries up. Yeah, a lot of things have started being shipped in from off-world. Um, I think like all of this is shipped in from off-world now. Uh, this is the last of our copper at nine. Oh no, there's 9,000 there. And there is 7,000 there. Like, that's the last of our copper. We've got 42,000 iron here and 55,000, uh, 52,000 here, which I haven't upgraded yet, but it's going to get upgraded very, very soon as well because we're just, we, 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 we don't have any ore left on this planet. Um, so yes, I've done a bit of work off stream, but yes, Taco joined me. See, I got completely sidetracked. Taco joined me. Lovely patron. Lovely patron. Um, one of my long-term patrons. So he joined me. 
along with a whole bunch of other people, obviously, uh, for the very first live stream for this this series, he asked him whether he could be the primary son, the primary son of the home system. And I said, sure, not a problem. And then since then, we've been naming different uh, stars after different supporters. So currently, I've been using the YouTube um, members list, and there have there are there are wonderful supporters that have joined us joined me uh, recently, which are going to get future future stars. I'm starting from the I'm starting from the newest members first. I'm working my way backward through the YouTube members list, and then if we run out of names, we'll move on to the Patreon list. Uh, but Weston Husen, Weston Husen was the first YouTube member to have their name plastered across a planet. Now, in doing so. I mentioned that I'd named his planet after him. I'd also thanked him. And I also mentioned that uh, this lovely planet I had no plans for. Because um, it's a bit of a sickly planet. If you look at it, it's um, the poles here. Um, it's sort of rolled over and died at some stage. And it's now rolling around the sun rather than rotating around the sun. So, yes. Um... He made a joke in the comment section, and and I understand it was a joke, but you know it was like yeah, th thanks for naming the planet after me. It's a it's a useless planet. I very much appreciate it. Turns out we're going to put it to use. We're going to put it to big use. It's going to be an extremely important planet. Um, currently, funnily enough, it's got all the ore on it, so it's actually keeping the uh, the, the rest of the space uh, the, the the rest of the system running because we mined out the other planets. Uh, and Western Houston actually has a lot of ore. What a weird spot for an auto save. Okay, uh, but the first thing we want to do is we want to land gracefully. That's not a landing, that's a skimming. Cool, land gracefully. Alright, next thing we want to do is we want to look for a pole. Uh, I believe that's a pole. Okay, and therefore that's a pole. Okay, so I want to go right to the pole. Because um, I need to do two things. I'm going to have to set up some sort of power here. Uh, and it's going to have to be slightly significant power-wise. Did I miss the pole entirely? Oh, there it is. Okay. We're going to set up some power. And like I said, it's going to have to be slightly beefy. Because I plan on turning this lovely, lovely, rocky planet into... A great space, a great spot to launch uh, rockets from. Like a lot of rockets, like all the rockets. We're going to launch all the rockets from uh, this planet. Uh, can I get you uh, down in size, please? Go away. And we'll remove that as well. And uh, build this around. Can I put a power pole like here? Uh, you can go away, you can go away, you can go away, you can go away, you can go away. Uh, we'll put a power pole there. Okay, it all has coverage apart from one little node in the middle. Well, I'll have to fix that in just a second. Uh, number one. <sighs> can I fix that? JD does bad things to all. Hey, now I can put a miner in there. Oh, uh, belt. Uh, so nobody complains, we'll just raise that ore back up. Now that we've built all over it. Uh, and drop a miner there. I, I don't feel so bad when I'm building a miner over ore. Okay, so, first, th first things first. We need uh, definitely power. So we're going to put power pole there, power pole there power. I sort of wish I brought more than 20 power poles with me. Uh, okay, power poles. Next thing we're going to want is going to be a uh, one of them. Whatever they're called. I can't remember. Uh, nope, you cannot start there. You need to... Actually, you can start there. We'll just have to move that to... That's the wrong tile. Hey! We have our first research done. Okay. Which means I'm building far too slow. I'm getting too sidetracked with talking. All right, go away. Why? Uh, bring that up. So as you can see, we've already got one section up. 
I need another section. I need I need to get the next research done. So first thing we're gonna do is go in here. We're gonna do the next 15 degrees. Uh, so every single time we do 15 degrees, it'll take you up one node and down one node. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six researches we're gonna have to do. So it's gonna take us a while. All right, I need to put one of those right there. We need to plug in power and then we're gonna click whoop click that drag it around as far as we can drag it that way as far as we can we're gonna have you import a hydrogen remote man give you some ships uh you have zero power okay fine we're working on it we're working on it uh, that goes there give you a power that's offset drag you around, uh, tab you out. Okay. This could take some fiddling. Oh, there's a belt there. Uh, minus, 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 yep, tab, 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 tab. Sure. Please build. Orders. Okay, that's it. I'm done. I'm done. Uh, can I have that one? That one? Oh, that one. And just go away. All the rocks. All the rocks. I am sick of the rocks. I do not want to walk on any more rocks. Thank you. I feel so much better already. All right. Uh, let's go there and there. And there, and we can already see that power is, um, yeah, borderline. All right, uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put in a cut, I'm gonna finish playing around with power, um, because we need to import more of foundation, all 10,000, please. Thank you. Uh, I need to import more power, and I need to, um, you know oh you continue excellent i need to import more power i also need to um do a little bit more foundationing so uh what i'm going to do is i'm going to put in a cut and i'll see you guys in just a second okay so power has been fixed and at the same time i uh put down some foundations because at the end of the day we 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 want to know which end of our planet is always going to be the North Pole and South Pole. This one will be probably easier than other planets, because at the North Pole I'm going to go put some rocket silos, but at the South Pole I figured we'd put down some concrete. And I actually want to go one step further. Now we have the coloured concrete. Uh, I want to add some colours. Uh, I'm going to go with... Uh, yep. And then our next layer is going to be... Uh, there we go, there we go. I, 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 I like that. You know, it, it, it's a pretty rainbow. It's also Pride Month, so I figured why not have a, a giant Pride flag at our South Pole? Which means, now we have our first research done and our second research done, we can start planning out a decent Dyson Sphere. It also means we need to start launching rockets a lot faster. Like, a lot, a lot faster. Oh, also, power-wise, we now have... Let's go for the power pole. We now have uh, 245 megawatts to play with. Which is enough to run uh, about 10 rockets. 10 rockets. Roughly, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less. Uh, foundations. Uh, in the no color category, please because we're now doing the North Pole, we're going to put a single tower right here. And for ease, we're just going to bring a belt out. We're going to go over to our, sorry, Dyson Sphere tab. We're going to try and line up a rocket silo. They're sort of big. Uh, no, I need two rocket silos like that. But hopefully I can get the sorters to work this time. Yes, and uh, yes, excellent. We're gonna grab our rocket solo, rotate it twice, dump it back down, throw a sorter in angle two wide. Really? Okay. Bring our silo down even further on the planet. Uh, 
rotate you twice. That's where it's going to be. It's going to be so close that the sword of disappears. Okay. Rotate it twice again. Plop it right there. Plug that in. Uh, cotton patch. Are you going to... No, you're not going to get in my way. Okay. Pop that there. Uh, I should be able to grab that one now and plug it straight in and it should connect. Yes. Okay. So, uh, power. We're going to put a power pole. Uh... There it turns out, and okay, there, and there, and there, and here somewhere, uh, and let's just put you there for now, I'm going to grab that, we're going to put you there, and then I should be able to grab that one, and then that one and that one and we should be able to just build these around nope that's it I'm out of silos okay so power power come on uh, power power okay everybody's powered up all right next thing I want to do is I want to uh, I want to. Okay, let's connect power into there. Remove that power. Power pole, that power pole, that power pole, that power pole. Ah, uh, no, because you guys make power. Okay, remove that, remove that, and remove that. Perfect. No, stop it. Bad power poles. Alright, everything is depowered. Excellent. I wish to have uh, those. Remote demand. Uh, same time, we're going to give you guys shippies. And we will also, obviously, power up this tower. Uh, one, two, three, four. Uh, power pole, power pole. Set you... Yeah, that's all connected. Okay, uh, so we have 3,000 inbound. We just need them to get here. Uh, oh, wow. All 3,000 just arrived. All right, we need to set a filter on this belt, uh, which is going to be item number one. It's going to flow out. Uh, I want to put those back in there. And then in theory... In theory, come on, come on, boom. Okay, so we should be launching rockets now. Hopefully, the half decent uh, kip. Um, why? No, actually, map view, map view. Okay. Rockets are launching. Now, they're not launching extremely fast. We only put down 10 rocket silos originally. But if we go out to P for progress, Dyson Sphere, we were doing a... Well, we haven't been doing any structure points, actually, because we ran out of rockets. But now we're up to 8, 9, 9, 9, 10. 10 structure points per minute. 11, 12 still going we now have a decent amount of rockets flowing out and joining in going the bums of the um the um the um yeah frame material oh we can see this one's already got arms on it and yes we can also see that this is definitely outside the orbit of where our planet is so this should get interesting real fast uh, but they're definitely running, and actually, we still have a lot of free power left. So, you know what we might do? We might just make a quick short home. Uh, uh -huh. mm, or I could just order them. You know what? I may regret this decision. Buildings. Uh, rocket sellers. Technically, just want ten. Uh, remote. It's not actually delivering a thousand. 
It's delivering a hundred. It thinks it's delivering a thousand. And if we zoom out, we should be able to make out that we're having an autosave. Uh, thanks, game. Rotate, please. Which is. It's that. Sh no. It's that ship. Yeah, that ship that launched from the north side of the planet. Oh. Is it? Nope, it's not that ship. Where's my ship? Hello? Okay, it now says 100. So in theory, the ship's taken off. It's not that ship, is it? No. Ha ha! It's that guy. Uh, so ships take on the color of whatever item they're transporting. So we can see this is slightly blue. It's a building. This one's slightly green. It's going to be silicon. That one's slightly uh, orange. Um, it's going to be copper. That's another copper one. Occasionally you'll see yellow ones, which are moving sulfuric acid. Um, but we should have our ship arriving. Has arrived. Okay, we're going to clear that. Which is going to give us a whole bunch of those in my inventory. Nope, nope. We're not launching. Why are we not launching? Because every sorter is backward. <sighs> it's the small things. It's the small things. Okay. Alright. A sorter from there to there to there to there. Because I copied them from ones facing the opposite direction. But it means I should now be able to paste these guys around. Uh, without too much hassle. Need foundation. Okay, can I just get a tiny itty bit of foundation right there? Because I want to try and leave as much of the planet as natural as possible. Okay, I'm going to run out of power poles. Uh, yeah, two power poles. Sure. Can I use a wind turbine? Oh, no, I can. Uh, which was the one that used the wind turbine? Uh, that one. No. Wind turbine. Uh, power pole. Power pole! Yes, I can see you getting some ex- Oh, well that screwed the power problem. Uh, I can see you getting some excessive power occasionally as rockets launch and you get hit with shock waves. Features, features. Okay, so we've we've killed their power. Um, we're now doing forty-five rockets per minute. Uh, I ran out of land, and uh, we still have two and a half thousand left to go. And this says that I need four and a half thousand, four and a half thousand rockets. Give or take, give or take. Uh, at the same time, power-wise, we should be able to put these down somewhere. Now, these technically. Technically, normally you put ray receivers on the north and south pole. Because on a... Let's zoom out. Uh, let's assume this was a normal planet. Okay? A normal planet. Normally, the north or the south pole will always get some sort of light. Okay? Does depend on where it is in the orbit. It does depend on where the inclination is. Whether it's in summer zone or winter zone. But generally, one of the poles is always going to get light. Generally, one of the poles is in the summer zone, which means it's probably always day, same as it is here on Earth, whereas the other pole is in always night, same as it is here on Earth. Except, this planet happens to be a little bit special. Let's just fly up. Uh, that'll do us. Uh, this planet is very, very special. Very, very special. That item that right there there's a little knobby thing knobby thing at the top that faces towards the sun not towards the Dyson sphere, sphere towards the sun and as you can see it's currently definitely facing the ground um yeah it's there's 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 no horizon anytime soon we're definitely on the dark side of the planet in fact we're in the winter zone we're, we're in darkness for another 400 and something seconds but you can see it's still getting power because this planet happens to be inside the Dyson Sphere, that's it, over there, outside our current orbit, I can get power at all times by either aiming at the Sun or aiming at the Dyson Sphere. It doesn't actually matter if there's no actual... Hang on. It doesn't actually matter if there's no 
sphere physically where this can see it's just the radius of the sphere is outside where we are so if you want to cheat the system if you want to cheat the system you want to add a layer you want to go for maximum size uh doesn't matter any of these settings just 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 something there we go uh come in here and we're going to turn off run game because i definitely don't want to launch these rockets and just do a tiny triangle and obviously use use the, the the fill thing to fill that in and the way the game calculates it is it calculates the power of the whole sphere and also this tiny little triangle you've built Technically, you don't even need a triangle. Technically, you probably get away with just a node. But it calculates the whole thing and says, can the ray receiver see that? I.e., is that outside the the, the, the radius of said uh, planet? If it is, then it can receive power from the whole sphere, being even the tiny little layers you've done on the inside, all the way out here. Um, which means you can build just one node and receive a whole bunch of power anyway anyway for us uh we're gonna put down a couple of these so as we can see we're currently making 34 megawatts uh we're requesting well we're requesting 9.6 we're getting 9.6 there is a a, a a ray efficiency loss of well 70 percent uh so we're getting 70 percent of the power we're actually receiving so we're requesting in 10 we're getting six okay or nine and we're getting in six if i put down a few of these uh, we are now requesting in 45 megawatts, uh, the sphere outputs 37 megawatts, and uh, yeah, we're requesting 45, sphere outputs, uh, 37, we are currently per tower, technically requesting 7, uh, and we're technically getting 6, um, ideally we'd like to request 9, but it doesn't actually have 9, so, yes, this will give us some power some power some power to get us up and running as the quality of the sphere goes up uh, can i actually click on that and click on that at the same time there we go that's perfect so i'm now requesting 37 uh, out of the 40 available so i want to go one ray receiver over um so plan is plan is we're going to request all the power we possibly can we're going to keep launching rockets for as long as possible we're going to start building out a ring at least a ring at least um just so we can get some power up and running probably so i can add add some more rockets because what we have now is okay but obviously i'd like to launch a lot more especially if i have twenty-two thousand rockets ready to go um but with all that said we're going to do those and that 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 sort of plan in a future episode not this episode this episode we're semi-complete. We're semi-complete. We've got some power up and running. I can also add some guns to the mix. Um, but again, same story with the latest tweaks and stuff. They actually use a whole bunch of power to start launching off sales. And we've sort of maxed out the power on this planet. And honestly, I do not want to waste my time putting down more solar sails or I don't know, more, more wind turbines or more solar panels. At least on this planet. Not, not now that we have sphere technology. We can start building spheres, so... Well, spheres are cages. I'm going to build cages. I'm not going to build sphere, spheres wherever possible. But with all that said, this is where I'm going to end today's episode. Um, we started with the sun rising. I'm going to end with the sun sliding sideways. Um, but yes, we're going to end it here. So, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed. We're now, what, 20 episodes in? 19, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. This is when we start getting really into the meat of the game. We're, we're, we're starting to make spheres where our power is going to start growing exponentially it also means that um tech trees wise we we're getting towards the end of what's available with green sites we only have this one along with the uh plane filter um we need to start looking at the universal matrix which means uh our our growth is going to become exponential very very soon but with all that said this is where we're going to end it thank you guys so much for watching do hope you've enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the very next episode all right bye